What's going on guys, back in my kitchen and I am gonna make you some food. Now, I have been stressing uh, micronutrient intake ever since I did my podcast with Chris Tuttle because me and Chris talked about um, a lot of different topics in nutrition and one of the things that bodybuilders don't get in their diets is a lot of micronutrients. We get micronutrients from our proteins and things like beef and things like that, but we don't usually get in a lot of vegetables. So I have been for the last four to six weeks maybe. Ever since me and Chris did that podcast, I've been adding, I try not to make it too complicated. Every vegetable is gonna have a different benefit to you. I don't know all of them. I don't know all the benefits of mushrooms. I don't know all the benefits of zucchini. I just know that all the different vegetables are gonna have something that's gonna benefit your body. So instead of complicating things and trying to figure out exactly what vegetable does what, I just decided that if I have six meals a day, at least five of them are gonna have a variety of vegetables. I'm gonna have one, maybe one vegetable in each different meal. So I'll have like mushrooms in one vegetable, zucchini in another, peppers in another, uh, spinach or some type of salad in another, or I'll mix them, whatever it is, but I always have like one or two cups of vegetables in each meal. And actually, to be honest with you guys, I've been feeling a lot better. Uh, my pumps in the gym have been better. My sleep has been better. Uh, my overall digestion has been better. Everything has been better since I started doing this. So I haven't seen any negative effects yet. So for those of you who say too much vegetables are bad, I, I, some people have been saying this to me. <clears throat> I, all I have to say is whatever studies you've found that say vegetables are bad, that's fine. But I always like to try everything myself first. So since it's been like four to six weeks of me doing this, I've been feeling better, my stomach feels a little smaller, my, like I said, my digestion is better. I haven't seen any negative effects yet, so I will keep doing it. I don't, the problem I think is where people go overboard is where they're like, well, the vegetables make me feel good, so I'm just gonna go vegan. It's not about, if something makes you feel good, it's because it made you feel good in moderation. But it doesn't mean you can just go crazy, right? Like, beef makes me feel good, but I'm not gonna eat beef every single meal. So. You have to keep those things in consideration when you're cooking your food. Is uh, Everything in moderation, I believe. All these different fad diets, these documentaries you see and stuff. This person says vegan's the best. This person says all the all meat diets the best or keto's the best or paleo's the best. Honestly, in my experience and a lot of other pros I know that I talk to, the best diet is just a balanced diet. You know, a little bit higher protein maybe than normal, obviously some carbs, a little bit of fats, a little bit of vegetables, some fruit. That's really the best way to grow. It's the best way to be healthy. I don't think one extreme or the other is the way to go. So with all that being said, we're gonna make a regular meal. This could be, honestly, depending on the portions you make, this could be a diet meal or a mass meal. Um, I use this in the off season and I use it when I'm dieting. So it's all gonna depend on the amounts you use. If I use if I'm dieting, I may use half the amount of rice. If I'm in the off season, I may use twice the amount of rice, uh, but everything else is gonna be pretty much the same. So let's get to it. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna make some flank today, some flank steak. So the first thing we're gonna do is get our pot, our pan warmed up. I know how much you guys love it when I use Pam. None of you bitch at all and tell me that I'm gonna have cancer. So because you guys love it so much, we're gonna use some Pam to start. Okay. And then while those are warming up, we're gonna get started with our flank. Now, most of you would just knife, cutting board, whatever. I don't like to do that. I try and keep things a little bit simpler. So just a quick wash of the hands. And then what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna cut up the flank with scissors because that's how I do all my meats. So we're just gonna take the flank, scissors, and that's it. Just cut it right into the frying pan. And we're gonna, if 
fast forward through all this because it takes a minute, but it's probably easier, you know, steak's a little tougher than chicken, so it might be easier for you with the knife and the cutting board, but I just like, for me, it's like less mess, right? Get the scissors dirty. Cutting board's a bitch to clean. I feel like the meat gets stuck in the little grooves of the cutting board and I don't, I feel like I can never get it all the way out. So I just do it this way. It just seems a little bit easier for me. And that's the same way I do like my chicken and stuff. I just cut it kind of right into the frying pan. So the reason we're using flank and not another cut is just it's a little bit leaner. There's actually even leaner cuts than this. We get like an inside or outside round. Um, it's gonna be even leaner than this. It's what I ate for a really long time. But I do want a little bit of fat because saturated fat is beneficial for us in a lot of different ways, especially probably mainly uh, hormone production. But um, so it's okay to have a little saturated fat and there's a lot of micronutrients in the beef. So for those of you who don't eat beef for whatever reason, you're missing out a lot of, on a lot of the iron, the B12, the B6, a lot of those different things. So just cut that up in there, leave that. And then we're gonna give another wash of the hands. Okay, so once that's done, and the flank for me, it's not complicated, man. I just use uh, salt, pepper, I, lo I love the taste of beef, so I don't need to season it with like all this complicated shit. I don't know where my pepper is. There we go. A little bit of salt. That's a Haas little bit, by the way. A little bit of salt. A little bit of pepper and that's all that really needs now the next thing I want to get going is my asparagus this is probably gonna take a little longer to cook I'm gonna put these these will go in the fridge and I will cut them up over the course of the next couple days those flanks So I just picked these up, the flank up from Costco. The asparagus is also from Costco. As you guys know, it's my favorite place. I'm just gonna cut off the very ends because they're too hard. And then I'm gonna chop these in half. And then we just go in the strainer. There's a bunch of different ways you can cook them. You can actually just throw them in a frying pan with a little bit of oil and uh, they actually turn out really nice. But I just like steaming them. It's easier, I can steam the whole bunch all at once. And uh, as long as you don't leave it to steam too long, it's like a really nice texture, just a little bit soft. You don't wanna leave it to get cooked too long because um, they're gonna keep cooking after they come out of the water or after you take them off the steam. So you want to cook them till they're just not all the way finished, but just before that, because they'll keep cooking because they're still hot, right? So those go in the strainer. There's about this much water in the bottom of this pot just to create steam, right? And then we just cover that and we'll leave that for a little bit. Now, while that's all going, we will get some other vegetables going. So I'm going to do some zucchini. I love zucchini. Cut the ends off. Cut it in half. I make a little extra because my wife is probably going to be hungry too. Guys, if you're fucking cooking and your girl's sitting there 
Make sure you make a little extra. Don't be fucking lazy. And girls, if you're cooking, cook for your man. Don't be lazy as fuck. All right. So we'll get that in there. Then we'll do some mushrooms because I love mushrooms. You can do any vegetables you want, man. And like I said, don't overcomplicate things. Don't think like, oh, well, I gotta get this vegetable because it said this vegetable has this vitamin or that vitamin. You're not gonna know all of them, okay? So just, your best bet is just get as much variety as you can. And, I mean, try and learn what they do. Like, you know, I, I, I stay away from a lot of carrots. Not because carrots are bad, but because carrots are a little bit higher in sugar. Um, and I don't eat a lot of corn. <clears throat> corn, I feel like, is almost useless. It's just sugar. And it's good for flavor, and that's about it. But it's not really, like, a beneficial beneficial. Um, it's not a super beneficial vegetable. A little bit of olive oil will be nice for taste. And a little bit of salt and pepper. Steak, you don't have to fuck with it too much. Oh shit. Give it like a, a, a few of these like stirs. You know, that's not, you don't want it to be super, super cooked. I, I cook it a little more than I normally would because you know, my wife's gonna eat this with me and she likes it a little bit more well done. So a lot of people don't want to do the vegetables because they're a pain in the ass, they take time. But as you can see, I got the vegetables going at the same time as the steak and the steak's not gonna be done before the vegetables are done. So you really don't have an excuse. It's just a little bit of prep. I cut up some shit, I threw it in a pan and it's done. Now, if you wanna go even further, I grabbed these from Costco. These are, it's like a mixture of kale and chicory root and a bunch of other superfood vegetables. I'm gonna end up ripping it. It's gonna fly all over the place. So I grab these and I just do, I'll do a little bowl of salad with it. That way I feel like I'm getting, I'm kind of hitting all my bases. And plus, honestly, man, like I've been trying to keep it cleaner this off season. A lot of you guys know I'm working on doing like a, a lean bulk. And since I started doing the vegetables, I noticed I have less cravings. So not, the vegetables are not only good for you, but I feel like I get to eat a little bit more. I get to eat a little bit more and I'm benefiting myself at the same time. So I'm not craving as much shit, which is good, but I'm also getting in all the nutrients that I need. So it's kind of, it's kind of a two pronged uh, effect to getting more vegetables in. So cucumber. Okay, and then we'll do cherry tomatoes are my favorite. There's a little handful. And then this is for your nitric oxide boost. And it's also good for your kidneys. A little bit of beets. You don't have to do beets. A lot of people don't like beets. I love the taste of beets. So Okay, salad's done. See, so it took like two seconds.
Okay, I'm gonna grab a plate. Asparagus needs some more time. I'm gonna move this. The steak is done. It's all finished, okay? So, we're gonna weigh out our steak. Six ounces. Okay, that'll be for my wife. And then the vegetables. Almost finished. Asparagus is almost finished. Okay, so while that stuff is finishing up, I'm just gonna clean up. Okay, don't leave your shit all over the place. Don't leave your shit out for your wife to clean up. Take care of your house, man. Everything, everything matters. The way you do one thing is the way you do everything. So, take pride in everything you're doing, okay? If you're cooking, take pride in your cooking. If you're, if you're, you know, you're cleaning up after you're cooking, take pride in all of it. Don't, don't just be like, oh, okay, I'm a meathead. I made my food. I can go sit down and leave this shit for my wife to clean up or my girlfriend to clean up or whatever. Or worse yet, nobody cleans it up and it just fucking stays on the counter. Anyway, that's, so this meal, the only thing left to do now is add in the carbs. Now, for those of you guys who are like keto guys, or if you're on a no carb diet, you just, that's it. You just do the salad and all that. Now, I, you guys know how much I love Costco. So Costco has these ready to make rice packets and I use them in case of emergency and this is not an emergency. I have rice made in my rice cooker, but these take two minutes. Okay, so you never have excuses. This is two minutes, okay? Two minutes, all you do is this. Cut a hole in it, microwave, two minutes, okay? So if you're, the reason I bought those is for the times when I'm really, really in a rush, I, uh, or if I, I just, let's say I, I forgot to make rice or whatever, the, these are the perfect, it's the perfect thing to have on hand, right? Because you're like, you don't want to take half an hour or whatever your rice cake, rice cooker takes to make shit. These are just two minutes and there's nothing in them. It's like, uh, you know, there's three grams of fat. So it's obviously not just rice. There's a little bit of uh, sunflower oil and that's about it. So it's not better than just eating plain rice, but in a rush, it's better to have this than some other shit. And then, so, Frank's Red Hot. You guys know it's my favorite. A little bit goes on the flank. Vegetables. Asparagus is done. Okay, actually, when your asparagus is done, if you want it to make, if you want to make sure it stays crispy, throw in the sink and throw some cold water on it. Okay, if you have cold water running on it, it will, because right now it's steaming, piping hot. So it's gonna keep cooking. The cold water will stop that process. So like, right now this is the perfect texture. So I want it to stop at this texture. So I'll put the cold water on so it stops cooking. And just kind of leave that for a second. I know how much you guys love it when I leave the water running. So this is for you guys. Rice is done. Just 
unseal the package. This stuff, I love this stuff. And it tastes really good, so makes it even better. Uh, I normally do about 275 grams of rice. I've already measured this out many times, so I know it's about right. Okay, so that's a meal. And then the only thing I'm gonna do is just a little bit of low sodium soy sauce. That's the only thing only thing in this meal that's not from Costco. So, oh, the last, last thing. Costco has teamed up with the Olive Garden to make my favorite dressing. So, I get this dressing also at Costco. It's the last little piece to the puzzle. A little bit of dressing on the salad. Okay, maybe a lot of dressing, whatever. And that's it, man. That is off season. Off season because there's so much rice here, but this could be your pre-contest diet as well. As long as we, we can cut this rice in half or depending on whatever size or macros you need. And this is pretty much a pre-contest meal. There's nothing in this that's bad. It's like a tiny bit of olive oil in the vegetables and a tiny bit of dressing on the salad. Everything else is single ingredient, uh, good for you. So like I said, this could be pre-contest or off-season, but this is, because I'm doing a lean bulk off-season right now, this is what most of my meals look like, and I need them to look like this, because if I just did the steak and rice, you could do it once, you could do it twice, you could do it for a couple days, a week, but you start to get sick of the same shit over and over again. What the vegetables do is add a little bit of variety. They add a little bit of flavor. They make things taste better. They make things taste different. I can use different dressings on my salad. I can make put different vegetables in my salad. Whatever I want to do. So it makes me feel like I have a little bit of variety so I can stick to my diet in a lean bulk off-season. Now, if you're doing a dirty bulk off-season, it doesn't fucking matter. I'm not, a, I'm not saying you should do that. This is probably the healthier way to go. But if you're going to do a dirty bulk off-season where you're eating like mac and cheese and steak and like... You're going out to breakfast at different breakfast spots and having pancakes and shit. None of this really matters. You can make stuff taste good just with all those extra, all the different extra foods like mac and cheese and shit like that. But if you're trying to stay on a lean bulk, you're trying to stay healthy, you're trying to get your body right, this is how I think you should do it. Okay guys, so that's it. That's the meal for today. So I appreciate you guys watching. Please subscribe and share the video. Come back next week. We're gonna try and do these kind of every Wednesday or Thursday. So you guys have something new to do, new to eat, uh, and put into your own plans and get you guys bigger and better as you go along. Thanks for watching, guys.